Did I do a good job? <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. As always, I want to encourage you if you're new here to consider subscribing down below and dinging the notification bell afterwards if you enjoy watching videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. I upload videos every Tuesday and Friday, so there's lots of cool content, lots of opportunity to learn and engage with a fun community. And if you want to support this channel further, I have my Patreon link down below as well as my merch store. In today's video, we are going to be doing an update on my dream turtle that I introduced to you guys two months back. My Geomida Spengleri, which is the black-breasted leaf turtle. So let's go ahead now and take a look at the little dude. Yes, from what I've gathered, this animal is in fact male, so I'm going to be referring to him as he, unless something suddenly changes. So you guys might remember in that video, I asked you all to drop your suggestions and let me know which name you preferred out of the two options I gave you. There was Littlefoot and E.T. Well, be sure to watch the full video because I'm going to be letting you all know what name I decide to go with. All right, so let's go take a look at the little guy and see how he's doing. And I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video. All right, everybody. So this is my little black breasted leaf turtle. All right, guys. So right off the bat, you're gonna notice that this little guy has a filthy water dish. Honestly, as far as maintenance goes, I change my animal's water dishes daily, but uh, this little guy, as soon as I refill the water dish in this enclosure, he's already in there wading around and just fouling everything. And sometimes he poops in the water. And so what it means is that I just have to be on top of cleaning it as often as possible. I try to clean this water dish out every time I see it's dirty. I did originally plant a Calathea or Calathea Networks here. It just got smoked. He crawled all over it and he liked to come along this side of the wall and he just, I mean the rhizome was still alive, but he just destroyed it. Um, the kangaroo fern in here seems to be doing all right. But the problem I'm having right now in the enclosure is because of the humidity and substrate mix, I'm getting a lot of midge flies. And that's kind of unfortunate because they're a pain in the butt and they're just gross. Um, they don't seem to be doing any harm to the fern, thankfully. But yeah, they're just really annoying. Like you pop the lid off and there's like four or five of them fluttering around. They get in the water dish sometimes. So. Not really sure what solution I can come up with here because I imagine that as soon as I replace the substrate, there's gonna be more of the little buggers. So we'll have to see. I'm gonna probably put like a little sticky trap somewhere on the lid so if they do get out and go to it, it'll help at least take out part of their reproductive cycle. But yeah, this is kind of what's going on here. So yeah, he's been really easy to take care of. I've seen a lot of folks not give these guys UVB and currently he isn't getting UVB, but my intention for the final enclosure that I've been planning is to actually have a 6% UVB light over the enclosure. So I'm actually working that out right now to get a lid made for a 36 by 18 by 12 enclosure so that he has lots more room to roam around and then we'll put a UVB light over that. I'm also trying to think and brainstorm how I can go about creating a water feature. Now these turtles, if you don't know, are primarily terrestrial, but they do like to wade around in streams and very shallow water. He actually spends a good part of his day just sitting in this dish in the water. So I'd like to think of a way that I can keep the water clean and filter it. Uh, maybe some kind of like runoff that pools down into a drainage layer that's filtered. I don't know, like a stream of some sort that he can walk around through. So I've been thinking about how I wanna go about creating this, maybe with a canister filter for the final enclosure. Lots of projects. I still have to get done the Crocs Kings first He's doing fine like this as long as I keep up with cleaning that dish, but it's something I'd like to do for him, for sure. He does move around throughout the day, but he does like to kind of perch and keeps his neck elongated. They're very perceptive turtles and their eyes can move independently, which is super funky for them. Um, 
So what I find is that he likes to sit on top of this cork throughout the day and just watch me at my desk while I'm working. And then I come over and give him some snacks. So I figured what we could do today is First of all, change out his water dish, give him some fresh waters. I'm gonna scrub this dish clean with some nice hot soapy water, replace it with some fresh water, and then let's see if he's hungry. Another thing that's kind of cool about this enclosure is there is no shortage of springtails. They are absolutely thriving in this enclosure, like thousands if not millions. There's just so many everywhere. So they're helping keep any potential mold gone. Let's top your water off. Perfect. So because he's not getting UVB just yet, I have been supplementing with Rapashi, Calcium Super Plus every few feedings since he's close to being adult size. Uh, yeah, these turtles really don't get much bigger than this. Like he will still grow because he isn't very old. He's only about two years old. What the previous owner said maybe not even but yeah he is adorable so right now most of his diet is composed of earthworms superworms mealworms silkworms and then i also gave him turtle pellets recently he became kind of picky i have been giving him the north fin turtle food uh, just moistened and i noticed he bites at it and just spits it out so the cheeky little bugger is now eating Nutrifin Max, which my buddy Mike recommended to me because he said his turtles enjoy it. It's kind of annoying because if I'm being honest, this food is definitely less good than this food <laughs> as far as quality goes. So I'm going to really try to tempt him into eating the Northfin food. Um, I find even with the Nutrifin, I sometimes will hold the pellets in tongs and wiggle them around like they're alive so that he goes for it. I'll show you guys now. Okay, so this is one of the North Fin turtle pellets, which is the better food. And then this is one of the Nutrifin pellets. So we'll moisten these now, just like that. Give them a little bit of time to go softer. And then we're gonna try and offer them to the little man and see which he likes better. All right, guys, so first thing I'm gonna do is take the North Fin pellet and try and offer it to him. All right, buddy. Do you like the pellet? Watch, here we go. Look what I got for you. Now watch, he's probably gonna take a little bite, but then watch what he does with it. He usually spits it up. Wow, now you're interested? Well, now I just look like a fool. Interesting. You just change your mind, eh? He's definitely interested when I'm picking it up and moving it, but is he gonna eat it otherwise? There you go, buddy. Go ahead now. Man, turtles are so cute with their little tongues. It's actually so funny. There you go, bud. Why are you going for the tongs? Get the food. <laughs> uh, over here. No, no, this isn't the food. <laughs> I don't want him to bite the tongs. That's not good. No, no, you're okay. Come on. Your toe off. Good job, buddy. He's so cute. Your little cutie, bud. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Cheeky monkey. Well, here's the food I thought you liked. The only food I thought you liked. It looks like I just need to switch things up every few weeks and you'll change your mind about it. Don't be mad at me now. Here. Here, here, here. 
Watch him stop liking this food and wanting to go back to North Finn. I can literally see him doing it. Uh, what a funny, funny guy. For today's question of the day, I want to ask you guys, do any of you own a pet turtle? And if so, what species? Maybe you have more than one. Let me know. I want to know who in our little community owns turtles because they're just incredible animals. I'll be more specific, turtles and tortoises. Obviously, as always, I'll try to give you a comment at heart and we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation down below in the comments. All right, guys, I think what we're going to do now is offer him one of his favorite things, which is mealworms. This guy goes nuts for mealworms. He really likes chasing crickets too. Mealworms and superworms though, he loves them. All right, so I just finished gut loading all these mealworms with some Rapashi super load. So let's go ahead and offer him a few of them. See what he makes of them. Hey buddy, look what I got for you. Oh. Yep, he loves those. Sometimes for fun, I'll make him walk around for them too, because he'll gladly do it. And it's probably good exercise for him. Of course, it means he's probably gonna get his water dirty in like two seconds. There you go, buddy. Mmm. Look at that side eye. Come on. Oh, you okay? Oh, he's determined. Love to see it. Love to see it. Good boy. <laughs> uh, he's hilarious. I thought about removing this cord because he never actually hides under it. Even when he sleeps, he prefers to just tuck himself under these plants or he just sits there when he sleeps. He really never goes under this wood, so it kind of feels pointless to have. I mean, it is a nice, I guess, form of enrichment for him to walk on something different, but he does sometimes poop on it, so then I have to take it and rinse it and scrub it too. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure things out. Come on. Turn, turn. It's also really good at picking worms out of tight spots. See? He's gonna get it. There we go. Good job, buddy. You really wanna see you get some excited? It's one of these. Look at them. It's like, he just desperately wants to get to the... Look at him. Oh, my... Buddy, are you going to try and get that? Look at him. He's like, please give it to me. Do you want the super worm? <laughs> Come on, work for it. Reach. Can do it. I believe in you. Oh, we got it. Good job, buddy. Yeah, with bigger prey, he tends to like to take it and eat it in hiding, kind of. So we'll let him do that. Anyways, guys, as you can see, he's doing really well. Feed him every two to three days, usually and then just keep his water dish clean. So it's a pretty easy animal to take care of. I just think the uh, emphasis on keeping the water dish clean is incredibly important for him. Now we'll get his lid back on. This lid holds a lot of humidity in the enclosure, which is super important for this species. All right, everybody. So now comes the moment of truth when I reveal the name I decided to give this little guy. Now I do feel a little bit guilty about doing this you guys for the majority voted on littlefoot as a name and i like that name obviously otherwise i wouldn't have suggested it however after test driving it you know for a little bit 
I couldn't help but feel that it just doesn't suit him as well as E.T. I mean, come on, look at the difference here. Okay, right? Give you a second. And now, I mean, what makes more sense? <laughs> Clearly the second option. Guys, this little turtle's name is now E.T after E.T. the Extraterrestrial. I think it's a really wholesome name. I think it's pretty hilarious. It really just suits him. The long neck, the wrinkly face, the bulging eyes. It's the perfect name for this turtle. And I don't want anyone to feel like I don't appreciate their vote. You guys are the best. I really do appreciate you sharing your opinion. I hope you can understand why I decided to change uh, the name and not go with the majority vote there. Hopefully after that little humorous explanation, you guys can side with me there. But yeah, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video, seeing a little update on ET. And without further ado, we're gonna end the video there. So thank you so much all for watching. If you'd like to see the other video about me first getting ET, the link is up above. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. All right, everybody, have a wonderful weekend and looking forward to seeing you all on Tuesday. Take care.